Hi there guys, welcome to another episode. Uh, in this episode, aluminium. When you're ready, you just gotta trust the right. You don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> right, as I said, aluminium time. And mainly the inlet manifold. Um, I bought this plate from these guys. Uh, quite happy with it. It's a nice little, I think it's laser cut aluminium metal, about 10 mil thick, something like that. Um, fits absolutely perfect. I've already tested it on the engine. Beautiful, quite happy with that. Um, I was going to buy a manifold ready made, other pipes and everything on it. But as you've seen in one of my previous videos, I'll put a link up to it up there. Um, I've got a TIG welder, so I thought I may as well learn to TIG weld, hadn't I? I mean, how hard can it be? Well, I've spent about 20 years welding. I've done a lot of MIG and I've done a lot of stick welders, um, but I've never done TIG welding. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to learn to TIG weld. Um, and I've already got some of the skills I need, so TIG welding has turned out not to be too bad, actually. I quite enjoy it, and um, I'm getting there with it. I'm not perfect at it. The welds that you're going to see in this film are by no means professional. They are what I've done. They are good enough. Um, I could have got them sent to somebody who makes it for me and done it, and it all nice stack dimes and all the rest of it. But I'm not really interested in that. I'm more interested in me doing it for myself rather than getting somebody else to do it. Um, so part of this is the challenge of making an inlet manifold and learning to TIG weld at the same time. So um, a lot of people are gonna probably look at it and go, oh my God, that's horrible welds. Fine, uh, I'm learning. Um, I've only been doing this a few weeks and I'm doing it in my spare time when I've got time and I'm, and I'm quite happy with it anyway it, it does its job all it needs to do is get petrol and air into the engine from the cobs so it doesn't need to look beautiful it would be nice but it doesn't need to talking of cobs i've got them and i'm i'm really looking forward to these um i'm from the generation of well of these basically mark one fiestas and that with carburetors on the cars um, but I've never done anything with four carburetors at the same time and off of a motorbike so this is really new ground to me but I'm quite looking forward to it it's another string under my bow or whatever you call it um, but I'm quite looking forward to learning how to settle these up how to do it uh, put it all together and making the car run and go basically um, and knowing that I did it myself so that's what I'm after really uh, right, these carbs are from a CBR 600. They are 37 millimeters. The reason I went for these, um, price is one of the reasons. I could have gone for any of the other 37 millimeter ones uh, listed here. Um, but basically these ones are the ones that were decent in price. There are the things one like the R6s and stuff like that that are just ridiculous prices. But these ones weren't too bad. So that's why I went for these ones. Right, building a manifold then. Um, there's a few basic things we need to know about it. And basically, as you can see here, at the bottom of these carbs there, you've got the float. And basically this fills up, it's like a little bucket here, and it fills up with petrol. Now if that's leaning like that, if I put the carbs level, that's obviously leaning. So I'm gonna have a lot of fuel here and almost no fuel there. So what I want to do is make sure that I have the float bowl here level. Now that means, that I get an angle here um, and that angle then needs to go onto this nice straight aluminium plate now as you can see there's an angle this will be nice and straight and this will be tilted at an angle so we need to work out that angle the other difference we can see is when we fit these up to each other these ones are all from the inlet port on the ZTEC engine and as you can see when I add them to the carburetors they don't line up at all the two in the middle are not that bad but the two on the outside are way too small as we can see so 
the pipes not only do they need to come out at an angle like that they need to also turn inwards these ones need to go outwards slightly and these ones need to go inwards slightly so plenty of angles not my favorite thing so we're gonna to need to get some maths done that's not my favorite thing either but we're gonna give it a go now there's probably loads of ways of doing all of this but I'm old school So what I'm using is a piece of aluminium TIG wire and I can put that in the middle of the carburetor and then I can adjust it so that it now comes out there in the middle of the opening of the hole here as you can see there. So that now gives me all the angles that I need. So that's all the pipes cut now then. Um, what I need to do is just fit them into place they're all slightly different heights, but I need to adjust those heights. Just got them off of the angle grinder so they're all at the right heights and they're all level. Other than that, it's a matter now of welding them to the plate. Um, now, to make sure I get them in the right place, I've made a little, uh, I don't know what you're going to call that, but a little guide, basically. Um, so they fit over there. It just allows me to put that pipe into the right place it doesn't move too much so they're all in the right places now and I can keep them where they're supposed to be uh, the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take because I've got the opportunity to I'm going to get the sandblaster out and I'm just going to sandblast a little bit around the edge here uh, and just a little bit up the edge of just a little bit here up at the edge of the pipe as well which allows me to make sure that the aluminium is really really clean before I weld it on eventually well all done that's probably not the most professional welds ever but it definitely does the job uh, I am really happy with the result whether I would ever make my own inlet manifold again or not uh, don't know but I'm quite happy with that result actually just need to get the carbs fitted to it now obviously I need to level these tops off um, I'm going to let it cool down first because it's stinking red hot. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Well, that's them fitted. Um, yeah, they probably stick out a bit longer than the ones that you buy. Um, I don't know whether I'll have problems getting the air filter on, anything like that. Not really sure. Um, but I'm quite happy with how that fits to be quite honest um, I have got the option if it is a bit too long that I can cut the pipes here now that I know the angles I can cut them straight all of them and weld new bits onto them so I can adjust it if I need to but at the moment I'm quite happy with that right so I did in the end decide to cut these pipes off slightly and move the carburetors over a bit to give me a bit more space there um so yeah i'm quite happy with the position of it if i'm going to be totally honest i might have to redo the two end pipes because you can see they've got quite a kink in that silicon hose there so i may redo the two end ones the two ones in the middle i'm quite happy with they come out quite nicely actually but these ones i think are going to strangle the engine a bit too much with it trying to get in there so i may or i probably will redo the two end ones right so as i said i wanted to move these over so that they fit better and that is exactly what i've done now it's not perfect but with the silicon hoses on there it's fine um so what i've basically done is took the bandsaw and i've cut a wedge out of there which has allowed me to then close that gap it used to kind of be further up here so it was level um, and I basically took a wedge out there pressed it together and now I can just run a bead of weld around there and that's it basically then I will be done with this right so that's the manifold back in place again now as you'll see they are a lot better the silicon hoses against the manifold there so I'm quite happy with how it all turned out now and as you can see plenty of room there for an air filter so 
I'm about done with that now. All I need is an inlet gasket, which has got to go in there. Uh, and then I'm about done with the... Well, I think I am done with that. I need to connect the... the uh, I need to connect the accelerator cable to it and things like that. But other than that, it's, it's done pretty much. Um, right, next video probably is going to be the other side. I have to get the exhaust manifold sorted out so we can get the gases in and we can get them out again. So, so if you like what you see today and you want to see more, press that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot and bye bye.